So you're wondering what the best neighborhoods in Tampa are? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the top five best neighborhoods in Tampa Bay, according to yours truly. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala, and I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay, what it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. I'm also a licensed real estate agent, so I can help you with that too. We can make that Gulf Coast dream an actual reality. Now, before I share my best neighborhoods in Tampa, we need to define what the best actually means because there is nothing more subjective than a list of the best. And hey, if you're a local watching this, do us a favor. Jump in the comments down below and let people know what you think the best neighborhood in Tampa Bay actually is. And if you're not local, make sure you save this video. That way you don't have to go hunt it down later. And make sure you stick around because I'm also gonna share my favorite barbecue restaurant in all of Tampa Bay. And while I know you did not ask for that, if you're anything like me, you love to eat your way through a new city all the time. So whether you're visiting or you're considering relocating here, I wanna make sure you have access to that. And I gotta be honest with you, this restaurant has the best brisket in the United States. And I know that's a bold statement, and I know some of you are gonna think I'm off my rocker, but I promise you, this brisket will change your life. So make sure you stick around to the end because I'm gonna share that with you too as an added bonus. All right, now let's get into these best neighborhoods here in Tampa. And listen, I know there are so many to choose from. This is so difficult. And again, this is my top five. From my personal experiences, I cannot have every experience in every neighborhood just like you can. So we go out and we look for information just like this so we can bridge those gaps. And I'm going to share with you my top five experiences I've had in neighborhoods here in Tampa, starting out with number one here on the list, which is Hyde Park. Now, in my humble opinion, Hyde Park has the perfect mix of suburban, urban, and bay living. You can walk to Hyde Park Village. It's got shops, restaurants, coffee shops, bars, boutiques. There is a restaurant called The Meat Market. Kate and I went there for date night, and I gotta be honest with you, it was one of the best meals we've had and experiences we had in all of Tampa Bay in the five years that we've lived here. You can then take a short stroll over to Bayshore Boulevard, which is the longest continuous sidewalk in the United States, and it goes all along the bay. Y'all, we took my mother-in-law there just a couple days ago because she's in town and has never experienced Hyde Park. And as we're driving down Bayshore Boulevard, you've got all these beautiful homes on the left side. Um, towards the west if you're looking at the sunset and on the right side of course as we're driving down there are people walking running doing all the normal things but you can see the dolphins in the bay it was absolutely incredible it is one of the things that makes this area amazing it's got a great mix of young professionals families and active adults here living in this community um, you just absolutely cannot go wrong it is a short eight minute drive to downtown tampa you can go over to amley arena to see the lightning play or catch a concert and you can be there in seven minutes you can go over to sparkman's wharf curtis six and park i mean this place has the perfect mix it is very hard to argue that hyde park village or hyde park is not one of the best neighborhoods in all of tampa if not the best top schools great mix of young and old the real estate values are incredible over there and obviously tampa as in your backyard and having the bay right at your fingertips you just cannot go wrong with hyde park make sure you check that out and speaking of real estate, just so you can have some perspective, if you wanna grab a one bedroom, one bath, a condo in Hyde Park, that's gonna cost you about 246,000 at the time of this recording. Or you can go grab the Hyde Park penthouse, which is a four bedroom, five and a half bath, $7.5 million absolute stunner overlooking the bay, Tampa's in your backyard absolutely incredible. Now second on the list is an area more than it is a neighborhood. You're going to find that that tends to be a little theme here. And the reason being is because they all kind of commingle here. But the next area on our list or neighborhood, if you will, is Midtown. Now this is one of those up and coming areas. They've built a lot of new development here and there are uh, three adjoining neighborhoods here that are building brand new homes and have a great mix of those old historic homes we have in the area here as well. But downtown Midtown, if you will, um, has a high rise, it has a Whole Foods, it has restaurants like Bella Bravo, shopping, you, it has a uh, common area where they do events like yoga and concerts out there. It's a really cool little spot. And what Midtown was really designed to do was be an anchor and tie together these adjacent communities like Oxford Park, Bonaire, and even West 
Tampa. And if you're not ready to buy quite yet and you're just checking it out and you want to dabble, there are apartments right in Midtown. Um, outside of that, you're gonna have to sprawl a little bit. But if you're looking to purchase a single family home, and again, you've got great builders in the area who are who are doing scraping builds, which we refer to as, let's say a home, it's, um, it's beyond repair. What they'll do is they'll tear it down and they're putting up new homes. I know not everybody loves that, but you still will find a mix of great new modern style homes, contemporary, and those old historic homes that really built and secured Tampa as a neighborhood. My next best neighborhood is the Heights District. And again, this is one of those areas that is more of a suburb than it is a specific neighborhood, but it's important to be on this list and let me explain why. Um, the Heights District is the oldest suburb in Tampa, as a matter of fact. However, it's being currently anchored by Armature Works, which if you've never been to this facility, you have to go. When people call me, they're considering making a move to Tampa, they always ask, hey Juan, where should we go for dinner? And I share this area every single time because it is near and dear to my heart. Every single time that Kate and I consider going to Tampa for date nights, it is very hard to not put Armature Works on that list, and for good reason. Now, this building is historic. It used to service the rail cars here in Tampa, and it was bought out by developers, and they've turned it into this great mixed-use space. They host weddings there. There are uh, movies on the lawn. They do music every single weekend. There are, I think, 50 restaurants. You can get coffee there. One of our favorite is Steelbox. We love to go there and have a great steak. You're gonna notice that's a pattern in my life. Um, I would strongly encourage you to do that. Make sure that you get reservations because it is difficult to get into, but you can have a cocktail or just come hang out with the family. And when you're done with that, you can take a stroll down the Tampa River Walk, which has been re nationally recognized as one of the best river walks in the entire country. You can take an, an evening stroll, go down to the Strath Center, come back, or you can go all the way down to Curtis Hickson Park, whatever floats your fancy here, but we love it there. You Ulele, which is one of the just absolute best hidden gems here in Tampa as well, is right there. You can go check out that restaurant too. And this neighborhood is what they would consider up and coming. Now, that's, that is a very subjective term and I want you to be mindful of it. There are a lot of young working professionals, there are families here, and there are active adults here in the area as well. This is an up and coming neighborhood. I love this area. You'll find a great mix of historic homes, which is a theme here in Tampa, along with new modern contemporary style homes as well. I would strongly encourage you to check this out because this is a great area. It's got the Waterworks Park. There's a dog park there as well. The kids can come play. You cannot miss out you're right on the river. Tampa is awesome, y'all. Make sure you check out this neighborhood because you will not be disappointed. Next on our list is a neighborhood that has a ton of rich history, and I'm talking about Ybor City. This city is known for its cigar trade and its Latin influence. As a matter of fact, you even had the Italians who were involved back during the bootlegging days. I mean, it is a whole mix of things. That's how the Cuban sandwich got into this argument about who has the best Cuban sandwich. You got Miami, who's got a, a strong Cuban influence, who says that they're the originators and then you've got Tampa saying that they're the originators and the reason being that there is a difference is because the Italian influence made its way into the sandwich here in Tampa and in my opinion it is better and yes it's because I am completely and 100% on the side of Tampa I live in Tampa it's a better sandwich, y'all. That Genoa salami that's included, oh, it's so good. It is a welcome addition. It's incredible. Argue it up in the comments, don't care. Now, getting back to historic Ybor here. Um, Ybor City is incredible. There is a restaurant that if you ever get a chance to come, I encourage you to go to. It's called the Columbia. This restaurant was built in 1905. Um, it anchors this city. You can go down there. They have flamingo dancers. You can take your, your significant other or your family go down there, and it is a whole experience from tip to tail. I strongly encourage you to do that. Um, it is also known as the Party District. It's got this um, quarters down, like an historic e-board that reminds me of New Orleans. It, it feels very similar to that. Um, the adjacent neighborhoods, they have a Saturday public market, which you've got to go check out. There are roosters walking around everywhere. It is a vibe. I'm telling you right now, go check it out. But not only that, Ybor is one of those areas that is up and coming. And I know when people hear that term, they think, well, it's been left for dead. Well, that's not what's happening here. 
Ybor City is growing and the developments that are coming to it are absolutely incredible. Number one, starting with the Gasworks development. This is a 50 acre development that is going to have 5,000 new residents. It's gonna have uh, shopping, dining, commercial use. It is absolutely incredible. There's a park, a commons area. Um, I cannot wait to see this development come to life, man. I'm telling you right now, it is exciting. And just to the south of that, you've got the Ybor Harbor development, which is technically on the north side of the channel district. We'll get into that in a second. Um, but this has 2,600 residents. It's going to have office space and residents right on the channel itself. So it's definitely worth checking out. And the reason that this is so exciting is because this area between uh, historic Ebor and downtown Tampa had pretty much been left for dead for quite some time. There was an, an abandoned projects there, um, you know, um, subsidized housing development that had just been left to rot um, for years. And that land has now been reclaimed and is being developed. And we're going to have a great connection between downtown Tampa and historic Ebor. Those roads were terrible. They are all um, being worked on right now. You can go to the city and keep track of where they are. This is an area that you want to check out. And if you're an investor here in the Tampa Bay area or thinking about investing in the Tampa Bay area, this is one of those spots. Do not sleep on Ebor City or the surrounding areas because with all of this development, it's going to drive up the cost of real estate, good, bad, or ugly. That's the truth. And if you're looking to invest, make sure you reach out to me and my team because we can help you execute here. This is a hot spot for young professionals. Like I said, this is kind of the party district right now, but I take my families down there on the weekend. Like I said, make sure you go to the Stone Soup Company. That's where you want to get your Cuban from. Unbelievable. And they've got great chili too. I know I always talk about food, but I love our city. We got great, great food, great community, and great people. You cannot go wrong here in Tampa. I know I said I was going to throw in a bonus of my favorite barbecue restaurant here in Tampa Bay. And before we get to the final neighborhood that I wanted to share with you today, I had to share this with you. And the reason I wanted to share this is there's two actually. Number one, it's absolutely the best brisket I've ever had. And before you start throwing stones, I want to I want to be transparent. I have never been to Texas and had Texas barbecue. I've done a lot of things in Texas, but I have not had their barbecue yet. So forgive me on that. But I have traveled this country and I have been a lot of places, St. Louis, Kansas City. I've done all of those things. And let me tell you right now that the brisket that Danny Hernandez is making at the brisket shop in Tampa, Florida is absolutely the best brisket that you will ever have. I'm telling you right now, it is unbelievable. And the atmosphere, the ambiance, and most importantly, the hospitality. I got to tell you this, I have taken my family at least once a month since I have discovered this restaurant and they have the most incredible experience. My kids love it. I just took my mother-in-law down there too. She absolutely was blown away. And I'm telling you guys right now, you have to go check out the brisket shop in Tampa, Florida. This is not a paid promotion. I get no money from Danny, um, but his hospitality, the way he treats people, and it's not just me. He, I have watched the times we there, how he interacts with um, not only his staff, but most importantly, the patrons, the guests that come into that restaurant restaurant, the stories that he tells, how much love he puts into that food. I, he wears a hat called Barbecue Love and it totally makes sense. Y'all go check out the brisket shop. When you come to Tampa, Florida, it is not far from the airport. Okay. So when you land here, if you're looking for a spot to fill your belly, make it smile. And I'm telling you right now, make you happy. Go check it out. Their turkey, unbelievable. They've got um, empanadas that will change your life. They have uh, brisket croquetas and oh my word. I'm just telling you, you gotta go try it. Go to the brisket shop, it will not disappoint. And the last neighborhood on this list is downtown. I mean, what would a list of best neighborhoods in Tampa be if you did not include downtown? I mean, between Curtis Hicks and Park, um, the, the the Science Museums, you know, Amelie Arena, there is so much to do when it comes to downtown Tampa. For years, this was just known as the financial district. Most people did not go hang out down there, but it has absolutely exploded in popularity and for good reason, y'all. It is a wonderful place to go be. You can go there, you can go to Sparkman's Wharf. The Channel District downtown Tampa is really starting to take off. That is becoming one of the most desirable areas. I'm going to do an entire video on that, so I didn't want to get too deep in that today. Um, but it is part of downtown. That Channel District, when you go down to Sparkman's Wharf, you can go check out live music. They've got um, shipping containers out there with food. And that's where the... Um, 
the cruise liners take off from in Tampa. There is the Norwegian, that's the uh, cruise line that goes out of there. So they're literally anchored there. You can go have a cocktail or lunch or a great meal down there. You can go have some dessert, do the thing. Just go check out what it has to offer. You can ride the rail car there. Um, it's only a, a few miles away from, from uh, historic Ebor like we were talking about before, so you can experience that as well. And again, you've got all the, the, the venues, right? So Amelie Arena, you can go see a hockey game, you can go to a concert, you can go down to Harbor Side. You can go over to Davis Island. There's just so much to offer. And if it sounds like I'm passionate here about Tampa, it's because I am. You know, we moved here five years ago. I packed up my family, moved from Detroit, Michigan down to Tampa. We restarted our real estate practice here, and um, we've spent the last you know five years serving families just like yours, or serving people just like you who wanted to buy, sell, relocate, or invest here in the area. And if you have any questions about that, do not hesitate to reach out to me and my team. All of our contact information is below. But more importantly, check out these two videos here. If you love what's going on in Tampa, you're really gonna love these videos. They're gonna help you really kind of dial in what areas may be best for you. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.